Good evening once again. Now, how badly does a cup defeat affect a football team? Both West Ham United and Sheffield United have been knocked out of the FA Cup. For Sheffield United, this is perhaps not all that serious because they've done nothing to play for, although they were one of the front runners earlier in the season. But West Ham can't afford to get dispirited. They're still in the Cup Winners' Cup. They play against Magdeburg of East Germany, played at West Ham on March the 2nd. A week later, they play in the first leg of the final of the Football League Cup against West Bromwich Albion. So, no doubt, they're delighted to find out that today they are feeling what is probably their strongest forward line. And the strongest forward line, of course, means that Johnny Byrne is at centre-forward and Hurst, the man who might play for England on Wednesday, is at inside left. Defence, of course, the tried and trusted West Ham United defence. Now, I think a great piece of joy for the West Ham supporters is that Ronnie Boyce, their inside right, there he is. He's the engine room of the West Ham team. Happy everyone is that he's now fit and back in the side. But perhaps the people not happy that Ron Boyce is back in the West Ham team are the Sheffield United players. We've got two brothers, Barry Wagstaff left half and Tony Wagstaff at inside right and, of course, at centre half back. They've got Joe Shaw, the wonderful veteran. There he is, number five, captain of the side. Goodness knows how long he's been playing for Sheffield United and perhaps the greatest uncapped centre-half back in the business. Both teams then are at full strength. The weather, unlike the north of England and Scotland, absolutely magnificent, mild, no wind at all, perfect day for football, so we're all set for the match of the day. West Ham United against Sheffield United. And Sheffield United kick off. Sheffield United wearing the dark shorts. Actually, they're a very natty red. Referee, Mr. NCH Burtonshaw of Great Yarmouth, a man who could well be in the running to referee the cup final this season. A fine referee. Now, Jones, the England international centre forward. And this is Len Badger, the right back. Burn on the right wing, his burn. Good ball, finding Boyce. Well, if only Boyce had had eyes in the back of his head. This is Shaw. Alan Hodgkinson, a former England player, in goal. Birchinall. Good young striking inside forward. Town now. Now then, here comes Wagstaff. Wagstaff to his brother Barry. Oh, Burn, they're trying to do a match. Peters. It's all right, this one, because the whistle has gone for offside against Hurst. Stop. 
to Brother Barry. Trail player is Tony Wexter, but he's playing very well, getting through a lot of hard work. Now handing some of it to his brother, Barry Wagstaff. Passes going astray in this match. Certainly, it's a catching disease. Now then, Tony Wagstaff for Sheffield United. Up comes Badger, the right back. There's Boyce. Clearing six or seven yards from his own goal line. And Sisson streaking away. Braybrook trying to go down the middle, but instead it's to burn on the right. And there's a bit of a one for Braybrook. A glorious bit of football. Hopkins is sending the goalkeeper the wrong way, but he still manages to save it with his feet. Burnett. Again, the engine room of the Sheffield United team, Tony Wagstar. Boyce. Boyce has been having a lot of trouble this season with his back. Having a lot of trouble there with his passing, too. Ballander, number three for Sheffield United, to Barry Wagstar. Brother Tony Wagstaff. Wagstaff, the other Wagstaff, Tony Wagstaff. <laughs> the momentum that West Ham showed just after they got that soft goal in seven and a half minutes has quietened down. Burkett, left back, West Ham. Lovely bit of footwork by Tony Wagstar to Woodward. Keep on side, Jones. Well, he hasn't done it. That was the women's fault. He just held the wall a wee bit too long. Tony Wagstaff. To Ballander. Spirit sure there to get his side out of trouble. Badger to Woodward. It's Birchinall going on the right. 20 minutes gone. 1-0 for West Ham and it's a corner to Sheffield United. Reese, the Welsh international outside left, with the corner for Sheffield United. And Shaw, as West Ham come out, trying to play any lurking Yorkshire forward offside. Up with Braybrook. Braybrook decided take up a position alongside Hurst up front to try and get a bit more weight in this West Ham attack. Number nine, Burn. West Ham loved that 
square ball in defence. Oh, it's a lovely one for Moore to Sissons. And her. There's Peter Braybrook, the outside right. in all for Sheffield United. Sheffield United attacking now with five forwards. It's strange, but what a good ball that is to look start to Jones. And the five forwards rather got out of rhythm then. More to Braybrook to stop Hurst in the middle. Hurst being covered by Mullender and Braybrook has scored. First number 10, congratulating Braybrook. The scorer was the outside right, there he is, Braybrook. 22 and a half minutes gone. Well, I think everybody expected Braybrook to centre then, except the crowd behind the goal, very happy now with West Ham 2 up. They had a Seven United up against him. White star, Tony White star. Certainly, so far in this match, Seven United haven't shown that they've got any punch up front. Now, Birchenall. Birchenall forward to Barry White star. So far, there's been nothing to trouble standard except high crosses. Always uses the ball well, standard. This is Barry Wagstaff to Shaw. This is Tony Wagstaff. Had to play the role that Jimmy Hayden played for so many years so well for Sheffield United. The West Ham defence getting a bit worried then. Oh, Hurst gliding that one beautifully to Braybrook. But although Braybrook now staying upfield with Hurst as the second striker, West Ham have only got two men upfield. The rest of the time that are allowing Sheffield United to come forward to them. Now Burn. Sissons. Boyce throw to Sheffield United. It's Birchinall with the throw. 